If you search the internet for how to password protect a folder on Mac, nearly every answer describes using disk utility to create a disk image of the folder, which you then have to mount and unmount each time you wish to view the contents. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't offer a nice built-in method for password protecting files and folders. It's not like there's an option to right click on a folder and choose password protect. And there is a good reason why Apple doesn't offer this seemingly easy feature and I'll explain why a little bit later. But rather than having to use disk utility, which can be a little bit cumbersome, there is an excellent little free tool which basically does the same thing called Encrypto. To start using Encrypto, download it from the App Store, open it and accept the T's and C's. There are a few screens explaining what the app can do and you can choose if you want to subscribe to the mailing list. Then it's just a matter of dragging and dropping your file or folder onto the app. Enter the password you wish to use to encrypt the folder and you can optionally provide a password hint if you wish. Encrypto will do its thing and then you have the option to either save the file locally or share it. You can share your protective folder in exactly the same way as sharing any other document, such as by attaching it to an email or a message, or if the person is close by, you can airdrop it to their Mac. For this demonstration, I'm gonna save the file to my desktop alongside the original folder. It's worth noting that Encrypto never overwrites your original data. Instead, it creates a copy. Whilst this is a safety first approach, it does mean that you can end up with several versions of your private folder, both encrypted and unencrypted. You'll always be able to tell which version is password protected because it looks like this. Assuming you want to keep the content private, you should then delete the original and empty your recycling bin. However, before you do, it's probably worth opening the encrypted version just to make sure that everything is working correctly. Simply double click the file and enter your password again. Encrypto will make a copy and you can choose where to save it. Now bear in mind, since this is a new unprotected copy, if you don't amend any of the content or add to it, you can simply delete it and you still have the original password protected version. However, if you do want to amend any of the content or add files to your folder, such as adding a new photo, you will need to re-encrypt this new version of the folder. Right click, choose encrypt with Encrypto and enter the same or a new password. You can then choose to overwrite the original encrypted file or create a new copy by saving it with a new name. So that is the easiest method I know to password protect a folder on Mac. As I said at the start of the video, unfortunately Apple doesn't offer a nice built-in solution to do this. And that's because Apple's preferred method for securing your files and folders is to use individual user accounts. I mean, if you're password protecting a folder because you're worried that your Mac might be stolen, then bear in mind anyone trying to access your account will still require your password to log in and you can encrypt all of the data on your Mac, not just a folder, by enabling File Vault, which I recommend doing anyway. If you share a Mac, say as a family, by creating separate login accounts for each family member, anything stored inside each person's profile is off limits to everyone else, unless they purposely choose to save it to their public folder. You can also save files and folders to your iCloud Drive, which is potentially even more secure, requiring not only your Apple ID, but also two-factor authentication. So that is how to password protect a folder on Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more useful tips and tricks on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in finding out how you can get Microsoft Word on a Mac completely free or the correct way to uninstall applications. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.